What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's the Gaming Achilles and today I have for you guys a very, very special video. Sly Cooper. A exactly, exactly. Sly Cooper is is finally going to be on the channel. We're finally going to play through the games once the, once the rest, rest of them come on there. As you all already know, Sly Cooper 1 and Resident Evil 4 are my all-time favorite games and always will be. Nothing will ever probably overtake those and I'm so glad that PlayStation has finally brought Sly Cooper 1 to the PS4 and to the PS5 and I can now do videos on them and finally get to actually play them. Obviously, you can really see how happy I am. As, uh, like I said, this is one of my all-time favorite games. Pretty much just to give you the gist of this game, if you have never played before and or have never seen it, you play as a raccoon who tries to steal back uh, his family's book that got stolen by five thieves, and you get help by friends of Bentley and Murray. Please do not think that this game is weird. This game was made back in 2002. It is over 20 years old, and the fact that it is now finally on the PS5, I am so happy to be able to play it. Uh, I just want to get right into it, and let's just not waste any more time. If you guys do enjoy, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button to join the Mermadons, and let's get right into it. Oh my gosh, we gotta get right into this. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Sly! Come in! Bentley! Sly! Bentley! Do you read me? Yeah, yes! I read you. Oh my god, the head you? still works! Very the well. little heads! Sorry! Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. You're safe in the van. I'm yeah, the thief. Bentley, you're in there with Murray. Got to you're steal fine. file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to Carmelita your eyes Fox. Ears, buddy. Oh, my God, this count is so your cool. security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're going to have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you Oh, what's up, Murray? <laughs> I forgot All that you, you pick up in this. Grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep oh, okay. that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Okay, what in the hell? Okay, so it looks like we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to deal with it, but it's fine because I played like this before. So what is everybody? This is Sly Cooper. There's gonna be another Bentley's part right here because they have to tell us hey, how to do I'm all this right things. here. Must be Vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy <laughs> blue lights? <laughs> really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which uh. manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Oh. According to my so you're saying research, like I couldn't like shimmy across that? Was get near them and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. This is this was one of the first games that actually like broke the fourth wall for me. Like press the circle button. We never we never talked about that like in an actual game, and like. This is like one of like the first games that I've learned like parkour. It is I mean this is my one of my all-time favorites. The music never usually picked up right here. I don't know why it is. And introducing Carmelita. Oh, I know this. Yes, yes, I know. Just shut up, Bentley, we're fine. Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. Oh, you mean this one right here? Oh no, it looks like it's locked. I guess we'll have to go around. Oh wait, yeah, I guess I guess I need you for this. Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the nine seven one frame and discovered this. I bet you it is. Try dialing in nine three seven. No, nine three seven. I was so close. Damn. Dude, it is it has been over 10 years since I played this game. This is insane. Oh, we got one of them. Nice job! You got it! If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Alright. This is one of the first uh, parkour parts that you'll actually get, because I think uh, Carmelita's about to start shooting at us right now. Ah, Carmelita! Criminal! Foolish Criminal! I'd love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Yeah, so with this game right here, it's where I think if you actually just get shot once, you're dead. Like, I know like in other games, you usually have like a health bar, but I think in this one, there is no health bar. Oh well, we'll figure it out later. Oh! She... Oh my god, it's gonna restart me all the way back to here. Can I? Wait. 
What? Yo, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? It never. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. All right, so this is where uh, we were going for our first place. I think this is like Raleigh or something like that. It's like a frog or some crap. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. Yep. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as Chief Machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. It's like Cooper and Tide of Terror. All right, and Murray back that right up. Let's hop right on out of here. All right, so now out of here, pretty much want to break everything because once you get um, 100 coins, I think it is, you can get like a lucky charm and it gives like an extra life or something. Hey, Sly, I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty oh, really? gate? Yep. It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. Oh, no. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, so breaking the fourth wall I back in 2002. Yeah, and that's what worries me. All right, so like I was saying, if you uh, if you get 100 coins, then you get like a lucky charm type thing. There's also these other things right here, where if you break these, well, this will, he'll tell you. So that's the thing is like, if you get all these and you build a cracker code, you get to unlock an extra safe, like at the end of like each level or stuff like that it is. But you gotta make sure that you find them all, because otherwise it won't do anything for you. Oh, I thought I said jump and hold the circle button, but I guess all you do is press it. Hold oh boy! Fly. See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. Oh. Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Mm. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. All right, we can do that. Look this, straight through. Watch this. You wait for him to knock that down, you grab this bottle, and then you jump over that, and then you come over here, wait for him to go to break this, then you grab this bottle, then you jump over his star, because you're freaking cool like that, and then you smack him right in the face. Alright, we got another one. Oh. According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. Oh, really? That blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. Oh. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way... It's on. Yeah, that's right. Let's get it. He's gonna blow fire at me. He dead. He no longer around. Nice job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump, jump the circle, circle button, button to grab, grab onto the hooks. The hooks. And then you jump right over it. This one's even more fun. Not really, it's actually pretty easy. This guy thinks he's gonna hit you. But in reality, he can't hit crap. Oh, I'm stuck. So I hate having to sometimes wait on them. Alright, now here's the very risky part. 
Come on. Okay, so we gotta get back up there, which means you gotta be able to run through here first. Knock that off. Screw that. That large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues and bottles you've been collecting. Yeah, I'm sure it has. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. Now give me one second and we'll get that done. All right, 19 and 20. You found it, Sly. That's the final clue to crack the code. Now find that vault, and I'll give you the instructions to open it. All right. The clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is 792. 792, got it. There we go. Oh my god! This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. Alright, bet. Let's get it. I'll use the run this key. Let's go! We got a key! And we use it for this. All right, so we're finally on to the uh, island. Um, there's different areas that you kind of have to go into uh, to be able to get these keys uh, that you need to uh, unlock. Obviously, if you walk up to it, you can see there's a key, there's a safe, and then there's also a timer uh, when you complete the, the level that you can speed run it through. But we're gonna go into the machine on the left side here. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite levels on this map. What's up, Bentley? Doors. Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. Oh, I got you. And then we also have these bottles right here that you got uh, that we've already been collecting. Obviously to unlock extra skills later on. Eureka! We're in the engine room! Yes we are, Bentley. Oh, that's cool. All right, so see, we got a hundred coins. So now we got a lucky charm on our back there. So now it will allow us to take another hit. Uh, see if we were to like fall into the water or somebody hits us or not. Um, it'll work like that. Yes, Bentley, I know. I remember. I remember Bentley. Oh, I forgot. There's a bottle right here. Alright, grab this bottle right here, and then we're going to jump over to here, grab this bottle. Alright, now here's the one area that I do mess on, mess up on a lot, because here's what you have to do. You gotta jump to this one, jump to that one, break that, but make sure that they all fall at least, and don't miss. Most times I usually mess up on that, but this time I did not. So I'm happy. Alright, these little things obviously give you a checkpoint too. Gotta make sure you don't run into these things. Hello, sir. Bye bye. Bop! This one does take a little bit longer if you don't have the rhythm of it. But you can actually do it in one full swipe if you do get the correct rhythm. And obviously I did not grab that at that time. Oh my god, the image touched my tail. I would have been pissed. This guy gets me a couple times when I come around this damn corner. And then they give you another one of these that you have to do again. But this time, there's... Lasers that... Go. That was pretty easy. Where's the alarm at? Oh, it's above him. Come here, sir. 
Shut up, man. Ooh. Bop. Okay, if I remember correctly, we gotta stay right here. So this can be able to pick us up. And then, and then, and then, and then jump back over. Yep, there we go. Got that. I think you can also kill the rats. Yep, you also get coins for killing the rats, too. Alright, here is the vault. Right, we gotta go get our thing for... There we go. If I remember correctly, I don't think that there's any bottles in here. I think I actually gotta jump down on this guy. From the top ropes! Okay, there's 28. 29 and 30 should be around here somewhere. You can't jump up on this furnace, Sly. You better go back and find an alternate route. I get that, Bentley, but where where's the box at? Where's the box that's always around here? I know there is one. Just kidding, there is no box. There's a thing right there. Uh-oh. Ah! I don't know where I'm at. I don't know. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see a thing. <laughs> where am I? Okay. Um... Okay, now I pretty much just gotta go... Oh, wait. Oh, that's right, yeah, I can't walk across this. Very slowly, Bichelle. Oh! So it it So it is over here. But where at? Okay, so I can't find the other bottle, so we're just gonna grab this real quick. And then I'm gonna run back in and try to go find the other bottle real quick. Oh my god, it is right there. I did freaking miss it. Oh my god. Jesus, okay. Let's go, Bentley, I got it. I can't believe I pieced this one together. Try 227. 227, gotcha. There we go. What we got here? Interesting. Old Sally Cooper's fast getaway raccoon roll. Oh, I Stories love the roll one. Move faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power ups using L2 and R2. Mm. All right, Bentley. Thank you. All right. Now that we finally made it out of the machine, we got our safe cracked in there. Now we're gonna run up this direction. Go to the next one. I don't really like those guys that have the flashlight because they actually like spit at you and stuff like that. This is the high class heist map. Uh, a lot of this is having to do with pawns, and uh, you can actually get a lot of money from inside here. Oh, I know, Bentley, but I'm all good at that. Oh, okay, that roll almost messed me up. I, I forgot about this one. You gotta try to outrun this thing. Without the lasers having to get you. Sometimes you can eat, do it easily. And just keep running back and forth between these things until you get up to here. Sometimes they will get you. Now, these people right here... Oh my god, these ones are so annoying. I don't know if I'm supposed to... Yeah, I'm supposed to break that first. Oh. And now that I've made another hundred, uh, I get an extra gold, uh, gold lucky charm. Alright, so the safe is gonna be over here this time. 
Um, I know we do have, eventually have to come back this direction for it, because we, uh, we don't get everything over here first. Yeah, I'm surprised we even got those two. Yep, here they go. That's pretty much all you gotta do to those. Oh! <laughs> okay, well, oh, that seemed uh, pretty pretty easy. And we just gotta shimmy our way ourselves across this. Grab that, and we can jump back down. Alright, here we go! Time to go grab for the rest of these. Boom! So easy. Oh my god. I know I've said I haven't played this game in like 10 years, but I feel like I've... I've <laughs> you guys may think I'd be lying. Well, until that happens. Get that thing off. Okay, so I'm missing three. Somewhere. Where am I missing the three? How do I always miss these things? I never used to miss these things. I'm usually very thorough at it. What the shit? Alright, we'll walk back in. We at least got another key. Now, where... Oh my god, I just seen them. Okay, so I finally made it back over to here, and as I was walking, I literally see all three of them down, down here. Look at that. So easy. I could have just done that last round. Press the circle to enter the vault code. Whoever thought this code up knew what they were doing. Dial in 436. 436, gotcha. Let's see what we are going to get. of Raleigh's entire operation. I wonder... Yes! I can wire this info directly into your binocucom. It'll show you the position of nearby clues and breakable objects. Mmm, I forgot that this one's for it. Not all of them are uh, different moves by... Um... By the different thieves. Alright, now we're finally back out of here. So, the reason why we have to keep getting keys, uh, probably because I haven't showed you guys yet, is because, well... Fly. See that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? Exactly what you just said, but in a dumber idea. So, there's three keys over here that you have to be able to get. Which we already got those three keys. Um, and then once you unlock this, you get to explode this part of it. Well, the coins kind of go away a little bit faster, but... And then you'll be able to go through this area and be able to go get more keys. But, before we do that... We gotta go up here. The fire down below. I don't remember this one. Oh, never mind. I do remember this one. Yep. Okay. Temperatures reading way off the charts in here. This must be the power source for the storm machine. That's what I'm probably thinking. Just don't get lit on fire, Sly. Actually, I'll get rid of him first. And then I think, uh, I think, like, once you already have, like, the gold lucky charm or whatever, and you get, like, another, like, 100 coins, I think it just gives you, like, an extra life or something. I'm not too sure. And this part right here, you gotta keep this thing going through this so that you can be able to make it all the way around. And then do 
do that. I think I saw the bottles right here. Yep. Alright, that's all the bottles. Jump up to here, grab these bottles. Jump over to here without falling into the lava would be greatly appreciated. We only need six more. Oh, that's right. You gotta, you gotta get this thing moving, and then you gotta like jump off because then the light will be there too. There we go. Uh, we just gotta run across. Here. Grab these two bottles while we're at it. And then we've now unlocked the safe that we're now going to go back to. Alright, Bentley, I need the code. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I'm unbeatable! No code can stand before me! It's got to be 579! 579! Let's go! Good job, Belly. Thank you. Outstanding! Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus. Oh, let's go! This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the hmm. triangle button while in the air to slow down time. Oh, that's right! I love this. Oh my God! I love the slow motion one. And here we go. Let's go. We got our fifth key. Oh, wait, no, that's our fourth key. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that was up there. Nice life. You can adjust the game camera using the right analog stick. And to bring the camera behind you, click it. Oh, okay. Well, I see you like in slow motion, then you better hit him before he even notices you. With a cunning disguise. Oh, this is the book room. Jesus. This is gonna be ridiculous. Look at that. Those two are two of them that I usually miss a lot. Alright, now here, Bentley, give us the description of this. Got paid. Raleigh appears to have booby trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. Alright, let's do it. Yep. Slow motion that. So far, so good. I bet if you stayed still inside the barrel, the guard won't be able to see you, even if he shines his flashlight on you. Oh my god, he almost spit on me! Fuck! Y'all hear that? Alright, grab this bottle. I don't think it protects me from fire, so... Probably because it's wood, you know? It's a wood barrel. Alright, on to the elevator. You never touch me.
so even a little bit of the barrel can still be slammed. I never knew that. He has such a slow walk pattern. Or short walk pattern, that's what I mean. Not happening, bro. Stop trying to spit on me. Fuck! Dude! Alright, now this thing I don't think we really need anymore. But we do gotta get up to here so that we can better grab these bottles. And then go into here so we can better grab these bottles. I still missing four bottles. What the hell? Oh! I forgot. <laughs> Oopsie. How am I still missing four bottles? What didn't I grab? Oh wait, there's one right here. Oh, oh, oh here they are, here they are. There we go. I knew they had been down here somewhere. You've got to be kidding me. I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm a literal god. Press the circle to enter the vault. I got you. I got you, Bentley. With the help of a straight edge and compass, the answer was simple. Dial in 242. Uh, well, I at least had one number right. There we go. What we got now? Yeah, we're moving through these things. Interesting. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. Uh, so I think it does like a, uh, like a dive down. Or something like that it does. Oh, no, no, no! Uh, I'll be right back. Okay! Let's go! We finally got five keys! Oh my god! Alright, that is the complete area of that. Uh, well, completed, I guess, is what you would say it. Um, and now we gotta go through this direction. Oh, my belly. All my calculations led me to believe you had failed to knock out that generator. Oh, Everyone's thanks. Math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found a way out to Raleigh's hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. You're not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scaring me, man. <laughs> anyway, to get inside that thing, you had to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. All seven? What are you waiting for? You show me those hollow what's it's you mean my holographic markers yeah yeah and i'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus <laughs> let's do it sly uh we now have to unlock this thing with at least seven keys but i think we only have five yes that's only five that we have so far so we still gotta go get another wait yeah, that's seven. Okay, so we gotta go get another five. And our next one is going to be right up here. But first off, we're gonna run over here to go get this extra life. There we go. Got that. Alright, so this guy's a little bit more meaner because he'll he turns around super fast. And you have barely any kind of time to actually get up to him. But we still get it. The gunboat graveyard. Now, this was one of my favorite levels, the first time ever playing this. You're really loud, Raleigh. Okay, Raleigh, you're talking way too damn much. This is getting very annoying. Um, okay, so he's finally done talking, I think. Um... 
if we go up here first, because then we're gonna jump across over to this plane, because we gotta run over there and go get some of the, um, yeah, we gotta get some of these things. Which I don't know if I can reach these without getting touched by that, or what I can do. Oh, no, okay, that was a bad idea. Where is it at? Oh, it's over there? Okay. Alright, let's go shut this thing off real quick. Right, shut the thing off, go grab this real quick. Now we run back over to here so we can shimmy our way across this as eyeballs are looking at us. And then once you pretty much like get the hang of like the controls, mechanics, the way you have to turn for it, it's like it's pretty easy. I mean this game is not like tremendously hard. Or it's not it's not meant to be, it's supposed to be like a kid's game, but or not really a kid's game, but you know what I mean. Younger generation. Hey, there we go, we got our 20. Didn't miss a single one. Press the circle to enter the vault. Gotcha, Bentley. Give me the code. This one was cake. Input 719. Ah, 719. Gotcha. Hey, there we go. Plundered treasures. Oh, you lucky sly. This page features Karen Cooper Kiwa's coin magnet Cooper Kiwa. technique. Magnet All technique? she had to do was stand near money, and it would magically jump into her purse. Oh. From now on, you'll automatically collect any coins you come near. Oh. Okay. All right, time to grab this freaking key. Here we go. We got number six. Now number seven is gonna be. Uh. Getting key number seven, I hate the most. This level right here has been my all-time hardest one to ever try and beat. Actually, scratch that. These are not the hardest ones to go to beat. It's just, it's only a key. I'm dreading this so much. All right, so pretty much you gotta keep these crabs from collecting one of these while also breaking these to be able to get them yourself. Don't let too many of them uh, spawn. Don't let the crabs near them either. Because if that happens, then you lose the key. This one I always hate it because I always get up to like 32 or something like that. And then that's when they want to start being assholes. Four, there's 15. Yeah, see, now they start dropping three. Not you either. Shoot the boxes! I don't know how I'm not collecting any of these boxes right here. Okay, not you. Yeah, there's so many of them. It's the last three, last three. The last one. Give me that. Yes. I did it the first try. Let's go. Ah! All right, Rally. I'm coming for that. Uh, frog booty? Uh, I guess so. I don't know. And let's hop in. Oh, crap. I probably should have grabbed that extra life up there. Let's go. Right to the blimp. <laughs> the eye of the storm. What's up, Raleigh? How it's been forever, man. We have a guest. The only thing is. Unexpected. Oh, you hate unexpected guests? That sucks. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine. You better expect company. Exploding to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are. Bring it on. The bug? I'm a I'm a raccoon, bro. I don't I don't see where you got a bug. Oh my god! He's jumbo size. Oh, I remember this one. 
I think he does three at a time. He does this fourth. No, he doesn't. Ah, oh, sh... So I think he gets back up to it. Oh, wait, no, this one you're supposed to just... Oh, wait, I can't. It's back him. Now I can. There we go. Okay. So this one... So then this one gets you ready for the next one. If you play it smart on the first time. There you go. Halfway. Now, this one I'm trying to remember. He, do he does hit five times, and I think when he hits on one of these, it goes away. Let's go! Okay, one more. Oh no, I forgot about this one! Ugh! Let's go! Oh my god, I'm so good! Ah! The croaking crook. All you want, Sly Cooper. You're no match for Mugshot. Mugshot. My villainous cohort in Utah. Utah? I don't want to go to Utah. Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump. Ooh, a technique spire. developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox. Who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. Mm, okay. Go! Thank you all so much for joining me today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and hit the bell notifications and make sure to hit the subscribe button to join the Myrmidons. Like I said before, I'm so glad that they added this to the PS5 and that I can finally be able to play it. If you guys would like to see more, please let me know down in the comments below. And even if you guys don't want to see it, it'll probably still be uploaded to the channel because, like I said, it's my favorite game. Uh, that is all the time I have for you guys today, and I hope to see you guys all later. Bye, guys! PlayStation.